No, not really. Um, just kind of tightened up and uh, wouldn't go away for the game. And we figured it's uh, probably good to get some rest. And um, so I'm feeling better now. What's the feeling in the room with the last player of Jake Yeah, um, exciting. It's uh, obviously he's got a lot of experience in the playoffs and um, won a Stanley Cup or two in, in LA. And um, we're excited to have him. It looks like, well, at least maybe at the start, Morgan might switch over to his offside there. Can you give us a perspective from a defenseman point of view how tricky that might be? Yeah, it's tough uh, in certain aspects. I think from always, um, he's so good, and especially in the offensive zone, I, I think it's an advantage um, being on that side sometimes. So hopefully he um, succeeds. I'm sure they'll just go, you know, if, if he ends up on the left, kind of like him and Hainsey did, they'll, they'll just switch. But uh, playing the neutral zone is pretty tough. Uh, I think he'll be all right, though. What teams? It, sorry, what makes it tough in the neutral zone, Jake? Well, when you're looking across, you know, if he's getting a pass from Jake, and uh, it's harder to look this way than it is to look this way and see a play, so uh, you just got to be quicker. Uh, Mike mentioned that you kind of played through the, the back spasms uh, maybe seven or ten, day, ten days before you you set out. Uh, what was How challenging, I guess, was that? Yeah, I mean, any injury is tough or um, spasm, same thing. Uh, but, you know, just got to just gotta rest and, and get better and get back at it. Beating teams like Washington and Tampa prior to the break, how important is that as this club looks to get traction in what might be another good February looking back to last year? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we, we weren't playing our best hockey there at the end of the, before the break, but um, like I said, we, we got some rest. We uh, had a good practice today and hopefully have our legs tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. Had you dealt with back spasms before, or was this a first for you? Yeah, I think I, I had them um, last year. Didn't have to miss any games for them, though. That was when you, you left that one game? Yeah, early? yep. Jake, when, uh, when Babcock throws you and Morgan out there occasionally together and you're both left shots, how do you guys work out with size runs? Um, usually it's the, at, at the end of the game, and um, we're mostly in the offensive zone anyway, so it's not a huge deal, but uh, you just kind of – Wing it. If you end up on the right side, then there you are. Jake, what's it like when a new guy comes in at this point in the season? Is it like by committee you guys try to make him feel welcome, or is there one guy that's going to step up and kind of show him the ropes? How does it go? I mean, it's a pretty easy group to, to feel comfortable in. I was talking to Ennis about it, and um, he said within hours he felt like he was part of the team. And uh, that could just be his personality, but I think it's, you know, even just going through stretch and on the ice, he seems pretty easy going, and uh, I'm sure he'll fit right in. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do yet, but um, he's got a, he's been on the power play a lot in, in L.A. and um, had some success, so I'm um, sure it'll be good.